So in verse 1, we see that the Lord Jesus Christ brought these things to be, to come to pass. And for over 700 years, the Israeli nation had longed for the Messiah. Even longer than that, in the eternal ages of Jehovah God, he had anticipated this great day. And the moment had come when the greatest event in human history would happen. That God would come from heaven to earth in a tiny baby in human flesh perfectly God and perfectly man. So when it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree, this was a listing of all the citizens of this world. From Caesar Augustus, from Caesar Augusta, who was a mighty Roman emperor. He was the grand nephew of Julius Caesar. When they tried to give him the title of dictator, he said, no, it's too temporary. So when they tried to give him the name of king, it wasn't enough. In Caesar Augustus, he wanted to be known as God. Yet the King of Kings came in very humble and meek ways in a baby. That he might redeem you and me for eternal life. And Caesar Augustus put out this decree and it says that all the world and all, and all the world uh, speaks of his power, of his kingdom. As if he truly was God of this world. In verse 2 it says, And this taxing was first made when Serenius was governor of Syria, Syria, and all went to be taxed. Mainly just this. Everyone into his own city, so he had the power and the intimidation to force the whole world to do what he said. Yet the King of Kings came with a baby's cry. In verse 4, And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth and to Judea and to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was the house and lineage of David. And Joseph obeyed the law. Joseph 
And he took Mary with this baby 75 miles uphill to Bethlehem. And David and Mary were both from the house of David, from the lineage, the heritage of David. And think about how God had to put together David and Mary who would go to their city where they were born in the face of this man who called himself God. It would be impossible for Caesar, Caesar Augustus and the world to deny that Mary and David were from